I'm Sonia and welcome to Scottish Grain. Today we're going to be making whiskey sauce. This is one of our most popular recipes and it's really, really easy to make, but it adds a finishing touch to any dish that involves haggis. It's perfect to have with haggis neeps and tatties on Burns night or to have with chicken balmoral and even our haggis pasta recipe as well. It's a really easy recipe with just a few ingredients, so we're going to talk about those first and then we'll show you exactly how simple it is to make. Here are the ingredients that we need for our creamy whiskey sauce. The first one I'm going to talk about is the cream. We use double cream in the UK, which is basically one of the thicker, um, heavy sort of creams. You might know it as heavy cream if you're in the US or thick cream. Just look for something that has a high fat content and is probably the thickest liquid cream you can get. Next we have our stock. I've used veggie stock today, but sometimes we use chicken. It just depends whatever we have in the cupboard. I've mixed it up from a stock cube, but you can use liquid stock if you like as well. Then we have the most important ingredient, which is our whiskey. I have about three tablespoons here and I might add a little bit more afterwards. We'll just see how it tastes. You don't need to use an expensive whiskey by any means. I've just chosen a basic one from the cupboard. If you do like a more peaty whiskey, then you might like to use that in your sauce as well to give it a smokier taste. Next we have what we would call in the UK a knob of butter, which is about this much. I think it's about 25 grams. It's just um, the kind of measurement that we use. <laughs> Lastly, we have our secret ingredient, which is Dijon mustard. Not particularly Scottish, but it really brings out the flavors of the whiskey sauce. Just want to add about a teaspoon of that at the end. And all of these ingredients make around um, two servings, so for roughly two people, you can just scale it up as you need to, especially if you're having a burn supper night and you want to make it for a lot of people. Now there's one other thing I do need to talk about. You're going to need either a long lighter like this or long match because we are going to flambe the whiskey. This is a step that you could leave out if you want, didn't want to or you're not very confident, but I'm going to show you just how easy it is to do and it really helps to bring out the flavors of the sauce. Okay, so now we're ready to make the whiskey sauce. I'm just gonna make it all right here and show you exactly how to do it. You'll have to bear with me a little bit because this is a new stove top for me, so we'll see how it goes. The first thing that we need to do is heat the pan to about a medium heat and we're gonna put the butter in and let that melt. Okay, so that butter has all melted in the pan now. So what I'm going to do is add the whiskey. Now this is about three tablespoons, like I said. We normally say that you can do three to four tablespoons of whiskey. Uh, what you can do is add maybe the three and then you can um, add a little bit more later. Obviously you wouldn't have burnt off the alcohol, but then it really increases that whiskey taste. So I'm just letting that warm up slightly in the pan. Then what I'm going to do is take it off the heat and light it with our lighter that we have here. So I can smell those flavors coming out already. So there we go, we'll just light that and allow it to burn away. I'm gonna just place it gently back down there. So as you can see, it's not too big of a flame because we've only got it on that really, we only had it on the really low heat. So you don't need to be afraid of it. I know when people talk about using a flambe, it sounds really scary. Um, and I was definitely a bit afraid to do it the first time. Okay, that flame is just dying down a bit now. We're almost done. So next I'm gonna add in the cream, which like I said, is really thick cream. And also the stock and that is just a really basic stock I mean you can go fancy and all out if you want to but you really don't have to I'm gonna let that come together a bit I might just turn it up a little now and that's gonna all thicken up nicely once it heats up and um, then when it's almost done we'll add in our teaspoon of Dijon mustard and we'll be ready to go. So you can see this is about how much sauce it's going to make. Depends how much you like. That could serve maybe two to three people. 
Um, often, you know, we would double the recipe if we're serving it to the whole family or we would, you know, you can make even more if you want to. The, the part you just have to watch out for is obviously if you're adding a lot of whiskey, then it's going to take quite a while to burn off and you're going to get a bigger flame. So just make sure that you're using, you know, a big enough pan and you're ready for that. <laughs> As you can see, it's coming together now and starting to get thicker. It's not a lot of sauce, but that's because this is only to serve two people and it's meant to be kind of an accompaniment to the meal. It's not the main part. You really don't want it to overpower the whiskey dish and you don't, oh sorry, the haggis. <laughs> and you don't need a lot because of the whiskey in it as well. You don't want to make like tons and tons. What I'm going to do is add about a teaspoon of Dijon. The other thing is, you know, you can be really like it's up to you how much you want to add of different things so you might want to add a little bit less of the mustard you might want to add less whiskey or more whiskey that kind of thing what you can also do is just add if you find it's too strong add a bit more cream add a bit more stock so especially if you reduce it too much <laughs> so you can see it's really come together there now i think that is pretty much done um the last thing would be to season with salt and pepper to your own taste and then it's ready to serve. You can keep and reheat it later. If you're doing that, you might want to have a little bit of stock on hand just to loosen it up if it's reduced a bit too much and it's got too thick. But that's us ready to go. And now we have our finished whiskey sauce. The other thing to mention is that once you've added the mustard and put a little bit of seasoning into the sauce, you can give it a taste and see if you want to add an extra tablespoon of whiskey. Sometimes we do this and sometimes we don't. It just depends on how the flavors have come out in the sauce. So it's up to you if you want to do that or not. As you can see, it does make just a small amount of sauce, but we find that this is perfect for us to have with our haggis dish like this. If you do like a lot of sauce, then you can definitely double the recipe and then you have some left over anyway, and that's fine. Thanks for joining us in making whiskey sauce today. You can find a link to the full recipe in the description. And please remember to like and subscribe to our channel for more traditional Scottish recipes. Now I'm going to go and enjoy my lunch. Hi, my name's Sonia. Welcome. Do it again. My hand is famous. Like this. Yes. And now we have <coughs> and, then, um, and what you kind of want to use it for. Blah, blah, blah. Well, we'll start again anyway because you said seasoning. <laughs> when you've had the season. <laughs> seasoning. Seasoning okay. or when you've seasoned. <laughs> yeah. You don't want to, but we'll show you just how easy it is and hopefully you'll give it a go. And not burn your house Without down. losing your eyebrows. Yes, yeah. please don't. Also, <laughs> you know, remember, we, remember how we set the shot up so that there was a space that would be on the camera? Uh, where okay. did you where did you hold the light? Yeah, anywhere but literally anywhere but. And again with a match. Um, 